Hey, hi, yeah, Lisa Marie here. It is lunchtime, and normally I would be reading something right now, but kind of a pressing thing has happened, so I wanted to share um, just how real things are after weight loss surgery. Um, you can call it your emotions, you can call it your hormones, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know that they, the doctor anyway, I don't know that they tell you, um, after surgery, even though they've cut all, I mean, they've cut every single one of your nerves around your stomach and, or when they've rerouted your intestines, depending on the surgery you've had. So now when all of those nerves come back together, they try to find each other, but sometimes, you know, they're a little off and they're a little wonky. So I wanted to share with you, um, I have to set my timer so I don't forget. Uh, I wanted to share with you today, oh my gosh, uh, I'm definitely having enough water, I'm definitely having enough protein, but out of the blue, emotions. People say something and they're trying to be diplomatic. They're trying to be mm, encouraging even. Um, it's funny how people will uh, state something as a matter of fact uh, that either can or can't happen again. And then they follow it up with a compliment. Um that messes with the psyche. That's like giving a, uh, what do you call that? A compliment, but it's a negative dig. Um, and I, I don't really think that's how it was meant to be, but oh my goodness, my emotions are pff, through the roof. So after surgery, in the first several, first several days for sure, and then the first several weeks, even a couple of months, you're going to be on a roller coaster. It's just, it's part of it. It's part of you're going through the happiness, the sadness, the gladness, the mourning, the confusion, the acceptance. It's almost like when we have bariatric surgery, it's almost like we go through the seven stages of the grieving process. Crazy, right? Crazy. Some of us may be ahead of each other in different points. And then you watch all these people making all these comments and taking pictures and whatever. And they're all excited and they're all, hey. Um, and you're trying, it, it's really super hard to not compare yourself to what other people post. I did it. We all do it. It's normal, it's natural. However, I would say if it if it's just going like this up and down, that is actually normal. But if it's for long stretches of time and long um, long stretches of time as in days, and then you're getting into a couple of months and you're still still feeling depressed or overwhelmed or um, over emotional and things like that, uh, you need to talk with your primary care doctor or PCP because if you were on medication prior to surgery for uh, anything emotional or hormonal balance wise, hello, look how many people the day they leave the hospital are no longer on diabetic, diabetic medication. Hello! So you might want to think that it can affect the whole rest of your body and all these other things as well. On the flip side, you've never been emotional. You, you're not a crier. You're not a, you know, overly emotional person. Well, surprise! <laughs> After surgery, you might be crying now at commercials and um, you go read a Hallmark card and you're standing in the store like a blubbering idiot because um, <laughs> the hormones just go crazy. Uh, it happens. It happens. It's part of it. 
And instead of trying to push it away and then try maybe trying not to deal with it, hello, ask someone, ask me, speak up in here, private message me, be in a support group. Oh my gosh, it's so important. If you're not in a support group, either on Facebook or in person, you really need to because different people there are at different stages in the process of before surgery, during, and after that there's a wealth of information there. And if you're missing out on that, you're missing out. And feeling depressed and feeling alone and feeling alienated is not fun. Hello, that's what got a lot of us into being overweight in the first place talking to myself here. Um, so I'm sorry that I kind of changed gears on it. Um, but yes, yeah, I, don't be surprised if depression or hormones and emotional stuff and you're feeling all wonky for quite a while after surgery, it's, it's part of it. Um, and it's something maybe they don't tell you or warn you about or if you did see it and you did read it and you did hear about it, you put in little earplugs and you didn't really want to face it or worry about it or concern yourself with it. So today, for me, I'm in the office and uh, it's been three weeks now. You think I would have a lot of uh, my position um, understood, um, but I'm feeling less than smart today. <laughs> um... I'm not sure that I'm not feeling capable, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling incapable of doing my job and questioning, um, you know, what I'm doing here and why, uh, and it, and now that I'm saying that out loud, it's not due to what I am or can't do, but it's kind of the tone of some of the other people. And unfortunately, um, now that I'm thinking about that too, um, I think they're going through something and, uh, unfortunately I'm easy <laughs> to be upset with because I'm new. So, Hmm, I think I'm going to be praying for both of those girls because, um, whatever it is they're going through at home, um, and in their life, um, they need a little bit of encouragement. So I'm going to change gears. I'm going to change my thought process. I'm not going to focus on me and wah, what I can or can't do and what have I done. Uh, instead, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to pray for them. And um, if if maybe God will give me the right word to say, the right, the right little tidbit of information or encouragement uh, that I can give them, then that's what I want to do. Uh, of course, I welcome and um, encourage them to share with me if I'm not doing something right. I mean, how can I fix it if I don't know it's broke or if it's not right? So I have asked them to um, share that with me. And um, it's just kind of the delivery that's uh, not a little right. But hey, that's life. And... Um, a lot of people don't deliver their message uh, in a kind or encouraging way. And um, I apologize. I actually took it a little personal today. And I, I can't imagine that they are meaning it personal. I don't really know them that well yet. Um, but God just kind of nudged my shoulder <laughs> just now to say, hey, perhaps they're having issues at home that um, they're trying to leave at home, but because I didn't give them the attention that they needed yesterday, it's affecting them today. And um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the cause of anybody's um, wonky day. But that is the world of sales. That is the world of being new on a job. And um, I just have to kind of um, remember that and keep that in mind, which also helps us in our weight loss journey. There's people that don't get it. There's people that don't get it. 
they are going to think you took the easy way out. They're going to, they're going to be skinny naturally or athletic or healthy or whatever. And they are just going to not get it. And they're probably going to do and say things that are going to affect your heart and affect your mind. And then that bully is going to jump on the bandwagon and contribute to that. And you have to not let it. You have to stop and regroup and say, okay, what is the truth here? The truth is I'm doing what's right for me. I'm doing the best I can do. I am planning. I'm sticking to my plan. I'm reading. I'm doing whatever it is you're doing. You need to feed yourself with whatever the truth is that's going on so that you can bring your emotions and bring your hormones if you have to um, back in line to what the truth is. And that may mean medication. It might. I mean, so you're off of 12 medicines for a variety of other ailments that we put our bodies through, and maybe you have to take one medication? Hello, isn't that better than 12 or 13? I think so. I mean, I never thought I would be taking an antibiotic, or not antibiotic, what do you call it? A probiotic. And um, yes, I understood that we would have to take multivitamins forever, Thank you, thank you, Lord, that I'm not taking 12 of them. I'm taking one patch, and it does the work for me. But um, don't always blame others and think it's others that are having a problem or doing something. Somewhere in there, there might be a responsibility or an accountability that maybe we need to look at and face. And maybe it really is you need to go through those seven stages of loss because you're losing the old fat you, you're losing your comfort of, of fat, um, you're losing unhealthy, quick, fast food options. Um, it's okay. It's okay to mourn that old life. And it's okay to go through the grieving process. And um, I can't remember the seven steps off the top of my head. Uh, but I'll look them up and then I'll type them in below because it's a part of it. It's a part of the process. And um, I just want to encourage you that hormones are real. Emotions are real. And whether you had them a ton before surgery and now after surgery, it feels like they not only cut your stomach, but they cut those. Yay. Good for you. But I'm warning you. It's going to come back <laughs> and you're going to start feeling things again and probably over something silly like a puppy uh, or spilt coffee, something like that. It's, it's just going to happen. And if you weren't emotional before, sorry, you probably are going to be emotional and you're going to want to hide and you're going to want to pull the covers up over your head and not deal with it. But I'm telling you, it's a part of the process and it's a part of the healing and you need to face it. Uh, even if it's just to yourself, you need to face it. You need to work through that. And um, when I read some more of the book, she's awesome in helping us do that and um, helping me get rid of her surgery is still in week one of recovery, and it is exhausting. Oh my gosh. Setting the timer for everything and making sure you eat and making sure you sip, making sure you walk. Yeah, getting all your little tiny portions, a tablespoon here, a tablespoon there. I hear you. I hear you. It is very exhausting. You are right. Um, but hang in there. It is worth it. And you will have the opportunity to stretch things out a little bit. And you will have the opportunity to eat a little bit more than this. Um, it is coming. Um, so hang in there, okay? Um, thank you for sharing lunch with me. Thank you for listening to my little rant. And thank you that I had a little nudge on my shoulder that it's not me. Um, that um, it's okay. It's okay. And... Um, Thank you for sharing that with me <laughs> and allowing me to share it with you. And, um, ah, there I am emotional. Sorry. So have a great rest of the afternoon. I am looking forward to a class that I'm going to tonight about surviving the holidays. Oh, so I'm going to take lots of notes. Hopefully I can audio record it. And if there's anything amazing, um, I will share it with you too. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.